In this video, we will continue with the iterative process. You will find this on page 553 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The sequence of values given by the iterative formula, there it is, and now you actually know if you see this, okay, we are in chapter 13 and we are busy with numerical solutions of equations. Okay, with initial value, Two. That's very important. They give it to you. Sometimes you make an estimate. Sometimes they give it to you. Converges to alpha, the root. So use the iterative formula to determine alpha correct to two decimal places. That's also very important. Two decimal places. But the results, the in-between, that means that results must be to four decimal places. Okay. Very important that you press that on your calculator because if you press it on your calculator, it's, it's, you don't have to substitute or put in the values every time. You can just press equal, equal. So you, this value, you always press this value, the 2, and then you just press equal. Now it's in your memory. Okay. And now, I've, if I'm going to fill in this, now remember this is my formula, so it's going to be um, you can say bracket, but I don't think it's necessary. So you can say 2, answer, divide 3. And let me just, I, I'm just going to test it for you. Okay, I will press it myself. So I press 2 equals, that's my first step. Okay, then I'm going to start and I'm going to say um, 2, answer, okay, divide 3, plus 4, Divide, and remember now it's x squared, so it's answer squared. Um, so answer squared, press the x2, okay, and then I think equals. And I'm getting it's correct. So it's 2.3333, okay, remember what they said? Four, don't make more, they want four. And then I approximate, and this is good actually to rather write it here. I will do it now. In the previous one I did not, but now I will. So it's 2.33. Now, this is just saying that is this value the same as the answer? Okay, so no. And then I press equal again, and then I approximate again to four decimal, and then I approximate to two decimal, and it's still, I compare it to the top one, still not the same. And then I press equal again, I approximate to four decimal, then two decimal, and now, oh, and now it's the same, yes. And then, then I take that answer and say, correct to two decimal places, alpha converges to 2.29. Okay. And then write down an equation that is satisfied by alpha and hence find the exact, exact value of alpha. So you're going to take this, this formula, but now you're just going to manipulate it. Now I'm going to manipulate it quickly, okay, because sometimes it's a bit small and you don't see that. Okay, so I will just do it again for you. So for me, the best way to do is to find your LCM. So your LCM is going to be 3 and x squared. So 3x squared. And then, now what I just usually, so it's multiply um, 3x squared, multiply 3x squared, um, multiply 3x squared. Okay. And now, this is, is just going to give me 3x, oh, let's just rock or the continue in yellow. So it's going to be 3x squared. Now, remember that 3 cancel out, so it's going to be 2, and this is also going to be x to the power of 3. And then the x squared cancel out, so it's just going to be plus 12. And then I just take everything to um, the like terms. I think you can see that. And then it's just going to be x to the power of 3. And then I'm just going to take the cube root of 12. Okay. And, and actually, press that on your calculator. I didn't show. You can leave it there. But go, press cube root 12. And correct to two decimal places. That will be 2.2. To nine, so I think this was a very good estimate, but that was the real exact value. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number one. 
Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number one. Okay. The sequence defined by, okay, this is very, to, to know the beginning, x1 is 1, and this is the formula, and I just want to write it down quickly, so it's x, n plus 1, and that's going to be a half, and then it's the cube root, and it's going to be x squared, and n is just meaning that I go on, and 6, okay, converges to the value of alpha. Find the value of alpha correct to three decimal places. That's very three decimal. Showing your working, give each calculated value in the seat to five decimal places. Okay. Now, I, like, I just like, and it's more just for order. It's not necessary that you do it in the form of a table. For me, it's just helping a little bit with the order. Okay, let's get that. Get that. Okay. So, I have these headings which I will now show you there. And then I can start with my rows. I think I'm a little bit short on this rows. Doesn't matter. I can always add one if I say one, two, three, four. I think this will go up to there. Okay. And then, then I'm just going to quickly have my tables there. So there is my X1. And this is all my insights. And I'll show you now. Okay, so this, let's just get, get the pen correct, this is x1, this is, um, so x1 is equal to 1, okay, actually the table starts here. This is the formula then, so x, n plus 1, and we call this fx, and that is equal to, so basically fx is equal to a half, in the cube root of x squared plus 6. Okay. And then um, I just say r x and fx the same correct to two decimal places. Okay. It's just an indication. Okay. So I'm going to start here. Now remember, how, how did I sit? First we're going to put this in the calculator, this, this one here. So I'm going to say 1 equals, that's all. And now I'm going to substitute, and every time I see x, remember, I just press answer. Okay, so I think if I say 1 abc2, or 1 divide 2, it's fine. And then, you don't even have to make multiply, then you go to shift the cube root, minus on top of x3, and then I will go for a bracket. And then it's the answer, remember now, so it's the answer square, don't forget the square, plus 6, close the bracket, and then equals. Okay. And now I'm going to, and remember this is now x2. So remember what they said? Five decimal places. So it's 0. 95647. 95647. Now I think it's good to approximate it here and then I approximate to two decimal places. So it's zero or to three decimal places. Sorry. Oh, my row is not very good there. So um, it's, um, I'm going to just move. Sorry. Bad planning a little bit here. Just going to move it a little bit. Not such a big problem. Okay. So. I think it will fit then. Okay, so it's going to be 0, 0 0.956. To three days, remember three decimal. And now remember for x3, I just press equals. And if I approximate, I get 0 0.95257. Okay. Uh, 257. And if I approximate, that's the approximation sign, it's 0 0.953. And is it already the same? No. No. 
And then I go for x4. Now, what is x4? It's 0. Point, and remember to press equal, and then you get x4. So it's 0. 0.9522. Uh, let's just see. Yes. 95. I just want to see. Uh, one, I, I, it's big, I'll show you, it's 952228. So if I approximate to 5, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then it's 2, 2, and then that one will be 3. And then if I approximate, it's 0 0.952. Are they the same? No. Okay, and then x5. Okay, again, press equal. And that's 0 0.95. And now that problem is that it's 98. So that's why it's 2, 2, 0. And then if I approximate, it's 0 0.952. And are they the same now? Yes. Okay, so that was not necessary. So, therefore, correct to three decimal places, x is equal to 0 0.952. Okay, and that's how you do it. And then we go to number b. Now, what is number b saying? Find the equation and they want it in this form, of which this is a root. So take your formula, the original one, and now I'm just going to manipulate it. Remember it's a 3, so x squared plus 6. Now if I manipulate it, I'm just going to first get rid of this. So I multiply 2 on both sides. So I get 2 equals, and don't forget it's a 3, so x squared plus 6. Okay. And then if I then I'm going to cube both sides. If I cube that side, I'm just getting this. And then I'm going to work it out. So two times two times two, it's eight x three. And now I can just bring this one over and this one over. And I check. Let's just go back. Uh, they say the question. They want it in x three b squared plus c. So that is, that is, you can leave, but if you want, I can just say, therefore, a is 8, b is negative 1, and c is negative 6. Okay, according, this is control again, according to a, b, and c. Okay, but in, they just want it in that format. They didn't ask you to write down the values, so it's not necessary.